hello guys i hope all of you are doing fine in today's video we will be discussing the concept of uh, converting your regular expressions to finite automata so it means we'll be converting we have be given regular expression and we'll be creating finite automata bfa and fa doesn't matter first example uh, if uh, 0 plus 1 is given to us what do you mean by that uh, if i'm talking about two input symbol 0 and 1 i'll be taking two input symbol 0 and 1 examples what do you mean by this particular part that means uh, your automata would be designed in such a way that initially either it will accept 0 or it will accept one this is your first example means either it will accept zero or one this is as per the regular expression and then it it is created like that what if if zero one is given mean first the zero is encountered and then one is encountered then your automata would be q not first the zero is encountered then one is encountered q two this can be another example what if this is given as 0 1 plus 1 0 now this is how we have to design guys uh, in this part one of my answer is from initial state either 0 1 is accepted or 1 0 is accepted either 0 1 is accepted or 1 0 is accepted now 0 1 is not written in the form of a state because every state is uh, separated by a single input symbol and 0 1 are two input symbols and 1 0 are also two input symbols so we have to importantly break this and if 0 1 is there it can be break broken as one will get 0 another will get 1 and that that can be broken so guys in the previous example in the in this particular example if you have seen 0 1 so i broke it into three states and we have got the final state accordingly so over here this is also final state why because it is accepting either 0 1 or 1 0 so how 0 1 is broken just put a state in between 0 and 1 you can put any state it can be 0 uh, it can be q2 it can be 1 so 0 1 is broken similarly you have to bro uh, break 1 0 so q not there is another state 1 there is another state 0 so you have actually broken 0 1 and 1 0 so you might have a uh, thinking that uh, sir can we put uh, a single state q2 and you put like this can we put like this 1 uh, 0 q2 1 1 let's say q1 and 1 0 it it cannot be put up why because in this particular part either your 1 and just see this one and this one will get accepted means 1 1 but the question was 0 1 plus 1 0 either 0 1 is accepted or 1 0 accepted so this is wrong so the previous one is absolutely correct because either it is accepting 0 and 1 or along with either it is accepting 1 or 0 right uh fourth example can be fourth example can be 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 1 1 means either your single 0 is accepted q1 or 1 1 is accepted guys 1 1 are two input symbols you need to actually break them with one state so how will you break q not a single zero is accepted to q1 create a state between 1 and 1 we get q2 and we get 1 so this is my final answer right so guys what will be the automata for 0 plus 1 whole star 0 plus 1 whole star i also we have discussed it in previous video it means any number of zeros any number of ones any combinations of zeros ones it is clearly 0 comma 1 right what is 0 plus 1 whole star and double zero so it means 
see the important part is uh, zero plus one whole star zero zero. It means it is ending with zero zero. This is very important. So in the initial state, we have already got zero plus one whole star. So I can easily create it as initial state. I'm giving zero comma one, but it is ending with zero zero. So one zero over here, Q one, one zero over here, Q two. So this is the answer of this. Right? Uh, it can be given because this is something which is uh, done accordingly. So, uh, guys, there is one question which is given to us. We can, you know, easily break the concatenation part with zero one zero plus one one. Now, in this, we have to see what is the dominant operation. The dominant operations here is zero one zero and one one, and both are actually separated by or or union concatenation. It means initially your zero one zero can be accepted Q one. Or it can be one one can be accepted. Now zero one zero are three input symbols. They need to get separated. So it means I will write Q not one zero Q one one one. Uh, you can put it Q two Q three another zero and again you are finding out with final state which is Q one and it is separated with one one. So one over here Q four and one over. Hopefully, this is clear to all of you. I'll take a simple example of zero plus one whole star. Okay, I'll rather take a simple example first. Eighth example: zero zero plus one, right? Zero plus one whole star. So, how will you separate? Simply create a state Q not and give zero zero plus one and zero plus one whole star Q two right Q one or maybe so guys there is concatenation concatenation means this is a, a concatenation between them means separate them with one state so I'm separating them with one state Q not zero zero plus one. Let's say I am putting it as Q two and zero plus one whole star Q one. Clearly, it is ending with clearly it is ending with Q one and it is ending with zero plus one whole star. I can uh, give this particular scenario in this way that I just need to break zero zero plus one. Zero zero plus one is broken in this way that one zero zero. Q two, either one is given over here, and then we have zero plus one whole star. Q two, Q two, right? So uh, guys, uh, it's a very simple scenario. It is ending with zero plus one whole star, so it means I am writing it as Q F. Then over here we have got Q not, and we can separate it with zero. Q one, zero. And ending with one. Fine. So you might be thinking that earlier we had a total four states, and now we are having total three states. So if it is ending with zero plus one whole star, so I can put zero one comma zero comma one whole star over here, and then I just need to separate zero zero, and rest the answer is yours. So it means my answer would be Q not. Zero zero and final state was whatever final state we got zero comma one and it was one over here so clearly Q not one zero over here Q one one zero over here Q F and direct one one is over here so this is my answer of this now next question of nines or eights whatever we are going to do what was the question. Yeah, I will be nine doing nine zero plus one one zero zero plus one one and zero plus one whole star. So if I have to solve this type of question clearly, try to understand guys one. You are starting with zero comma one loop and you are ending with zero comma one loop and you are just having a middle of zero zero plus one one. Try to separate them initially. So I take all of them as initial part. 
then we have to use our basic understanding to basically solve this answer faster q1 then what you need to do is separate them uh, with the states q0 0 plus 1 whole star 0 plus 1 whole star one state is there q1 uh, we have got 0 0 plus 1 1 and then q2 we have 0 plus 1 whole star now clearly guys uh, over here you just need to understand you start with any state you end with any state but in the middle 0 0 plus 1 1 is significant so i'm writing like this q0 again 0 plus 1 whole star q1 either it can be 0 0 or it can be 1 1 q2 and in the end 0 plus 1 whole star so you can do one thing you can take one of the initial states here means earlier you have done like this q1 uh, 0 plus 1 whole star uh, q1 0 0 1 1 q2 0 plus 1 whole star again you have to separate 0 0 so you can put q0 0 plus 1 whole star q1 1 0 let's say q3 1 0 q2 and 1 1 q4 1 1 0 plus 1 whole star qf so clearly you have got 0 0 plus 1 1 covered initial state will get 0 plus 1 whole star and final state will get 0 plus 1 whole star you can clearly make your initial state over here this can be your initial state why because it can start with 0 comma 1 and obviously you can make this as your final state why because you have actually you have included zero comma one over here so in the middle you have included zero zero plus one one that is encountered over here and anything you start in anything from start and anything from end that you have made it as q1 and q2 as your initial state so this is my final answer right uh there is another question the last question that we can try for this is, is uh, 1 0 plus 0 plus double 1 and 0 star 1. So guys, it's very very simple. Why? Because uh, it, over here the dominant operation in, in this whole part is plus. Why? Because this is or. Means either this answer is accepted or this answer is accepted. So we can easily start with either it is accepting 1 0 qf or it is accepting this answer 0 plus 1 1 0 star 1 so we have this particular scenario q0 is 1 0 qf 0 plus 1 1 0 star and 1 so guys this is a concatenation operation so we have got q0 1 0 qf 0 plus 1 1 this is a concatenation operation i'm separating them with states 0 star and 1 q1 q2 right so even this is also a concatenation operation this also is a concatenation operation so i'm separating them as well i'm separating them with q4 with one and zero right so eventually this is zero plus one one so i can easily separate them with q naught one q4 zero this is qf right this is zero plus one one it means either it will accept a zero or it accepts one one with q1 after that there is zero star zero star means any number of zeros i can put zero over here and at the last it is ending with one so i'm putting like one over here 
so zero star uh, is uh, taken where after zero plus one month is ended at that state it is taken so it is definitely taken on this particular state this is zero star right so guys uh, we have got uh, this q naught we have got this one q4 we are getting with zero qf right then there is one zero you have to separate uh, q0 and q1 with two ones one one over here q5 you can put and one one over here as well with q1 it is separated with two ones so that's why i am separating uh, this one one because this is also a concatenation so we have separated after that i put a loop of zero over here and then it is ending with one this is my final answer so if you have any sort of doubts uh, put it in comment section and kindly like share and subscribe thank you very very much